examples here. So page 13, we're there. I'm number four. Page 13, number four. There are 13 terms in this expansion, so determine the, the value of n. So here's a question. If there's 13 terms, what was the exponent? What exponent would end up producing 13 terms? If your exponent was 12. Okay, if you have an exponent 12, the end result will have 13 terms. Therefore, n would have to be a what? 6. So that's all that was asking for. Okay? Whatever your exponent is, you end up with one more in the terms. Okay, page 18. Do one together on page 18. Number 11. We're not going to do it, but I'm going to start it out for you. Page 18, number 11. Okay, it says to find the middle term. So it doesn't tell you which term, but it says the middle one. Okay, so I'm going to look here. If this is an 8 exponent, how many terms are there? So if there's an 8 exponent, there's 9 terms. So which one of those would be in the middle? So you're going to be looking for the fifth term. Does that make sense? If there's nine terms, the fifth one. I always do this. I like, there's four on that side, four on that side. The ninth for nine. Okay? I'm not going to do that. So now you know you're just finding the fifth term. Page 19. We'll do this one though. Okay, number 14. In this binomial expansion, the fifth term contains an x to the seventh. Find n. Okay, so this is the, when you're just getting the x stuff. Okay, so I'm going to collect x stuff. So what's the x's from the first unit? x to the negative 3 was the first unit. The x's from the second unit are x to the seventh. Okay, this time it told me I'm going to be doing the fifth term. So what's the info I know? The fifth term, what would I be working with? I would be doing a choose four, right? That's kind of the idea. So therefore, that exponent is four. What is this exponent? Your exponent, which you don't know, subtract 4. Okay? And then I think you can just go from there. That's the same idea. But this time you knew this and not that. My example I gave you, I knew that but not that. 